Once you've configured textual relevance, the next step is to take care of business relevance using the custom ranking. You can think of the business relevance as a record's intrinsic value for your business. Searchable attributes mean something to the user, while business metrics mean something to your business, like margin you can make by selling a given item, for instance. Thanks to custom ranking, your search will be able to return great results from the first keystroke. If there's one thing you should take away from this video, it's the following. A good relevance requires at least one custom ranking. Let's start simple by configuring a single business metric first. Going over our record here, I can see that the ordered quantity is probably the one that will yield the most value for both you and your users. Records with a high quantity of orders are the most popular ones, so you'll want to show them first. To put the higher ordered quantity first, set it as descending. If we want to push that configuration to the index, this will look something like this. Time to get a bit deeper. We've seen how to get the basics covered with one business attribute. But the great thing about custom ranking is that you can use more than one to offer your users a much richer relevance. When you have more than one useful business metric, there are four steps to follow to create a smart custom ranking. The first one is to identify all attributes that should influence the global ranking. Second, you configure each attribute, either ascending or descending. Third, you need to order those attributes by importance. And fourth, you need to make sure that all attributes, except the last one, will have a low cardinality. Let's go through our record here and spot and identify all the different metrics that could make sense to inject and to configure as custom ranking. Those, by the way, are always either numerical or Boolean values. So in our specific data set here, let's have a look. Uh, ordered quantity, I think that's the one I'm spotting first. This one obviously makes sense because boosting products that are popular is definitely useful. General rating, I would say this is a good choice. Better rated products will be more appealing to your end users. So it's a numeric value too, so perfect candidate. Let's see what we have next. Um, I'd say in stock. In stock, we want to favor uh, items that can immediately be bought by, you, by your users. In stock is the Boolean value, either true or false. So that's also a good choice. Next up, let's see if we can find another one. And yep, the most important one, margin. In order to increase the visibility of products that will raise our own margin, this one is a super important uh, metric to add to our custom ranking. So let's do it right now. The second step is to configure each attribute. If a higher value means a better ranking, then you need to set it as descending. Otherwise, set it as ascending. So let's go back to our dataset and identify those. So ordered quantity general rating and margin, they should all be set as descending because the higher the number, the better. And to do so, the syntax is as follows. Uh, let's see what we have left in stock. In stock is a Boolean um, with two possible values, true or false. So to promote results that are still in stock, we also need to set it as descending and the syntax is actually the same. The third step is to order the attributes by importance. By the way, there is no absolute best ordering for custom ranking because it really depends on our business objectives. So let's take a quick example to illustrate that. And from my data set, I can say that let's try to push the results that are in stock uh, so that we can get rid of the stock as much as possible. So to do so, we'll put stock at the top of the custom ranking. And doing so, when user will search into the search input, 
the result that will come first will be records that are in stock. It's a Boolean, and so because it only has two possible values, it will easily generate ties. So having it here is a great choice. Cardinality is the number of distinct elements in a set. So imagine we have five elements, but with three different values across. We would say that this is a cardinality of three. Ordered quantity, the next one, is such a precise number that very few records will have the same value. So we need to find a way to reduce its cardinality. One way to do that is to try to bucket it and so to replace it with a new attribute that we could call ordered quantity bucket, which only will have three possible values. So we can say that, for instance, uh, the value one will represent the quantity between zero and 10. The value two will represent the quantity between 11 and let's say 100. And the value three will represent everything above 100. Next up, we have general rating. Uh, as you can see, it's a float, so we must also reduce its precision. And the simplest way to do that actually is to replace it with a new attribute that we'll call general rating rounded, that rounds each rating to the nearest integer. Finally, we have a margin, and this one is very precise, number two, uh, and it will unlikely generate ties, but actually, in last position, this is fine, so we can keep it this way. To apply our new configuration, we simply need to pass it to the engine so that it can rebuild our index accordingly. So let's do it right now. We call the set setting method on our index, passing it uh, an object containing the key custom ranking and the array of attribute that we've just built. We now have a properly configured custom ranking. Let's see how it looks like on the front end when we search for, let's say, gray t-shirt. So yeah, the results are pretty good actually. So now texture it's still the same, uh, very relevant. But now when we look at all those results that we can see it matches exactly my business needs. So in terms of in stock, we see that all the first results are in stock. And even further than that, the rating is great. So we can see that our config has been taken into account. And that is how to bake business relevance directly in your result set by configuring the custom ranking on your index. Again, don't worry if you don't get it right at the first time. This is an iterative process and you need to play around with your data to get things right. 